okay in this lecture i will show you how we can use aggregation functions and we will see the sum um, mean max average these are uh, called as the aggregation functions and uh, this applies to only numeric field so if you have a string or some some other field then it will not work and another problem is this applies to only one column it cannot work uh, with expressions for example you cannot write like this sum sales quantity into uh, sales price you cannot write this uh, because there are two columns associated with this this will not take and the alternative and the, uh, uh, what we can use for this scenario is we can do uh, uh, sum x you can use the sum x and uh, so if you'll see the sum basically it will uh, it will aggregate the column value and it will display uh, but sum x will do a row by row uh, calculation and it will uh, aggregation and then it will show you so we will see those examples so first of all let me uh, show you um, i'll open the previous uh, um, uh, sales dashboard whatever we have and on this basically what i will do is we will first check uh, a percentage how we can use it or how it will actually appear so if you look at this uh, i have a, a quantity column and the units deliver column is there for example let's say there is four quantity and then four units deliver but in this case there are 15 quantities but we delivered only nine so you want to see the percentage uh, how it uh, how it is working and uh, based on that only we can after that we will see the sum now i will create a column here so we will do both the things we'll create a major and also we'll create a column for that so what i will do here is you can see here new column and on this new column basically we will take uh, the percentage so percentage uh, delivered for uh, uh, percentage delivered is what we will take in this scenario and i will take uh, like uh, per delivered percentage and uh, we will use we have the units deliver so i will say units delivered and uh, by our uh, quantity so the sales column uh, quantity so if i'll click on enter uh, you can see here it is showing like this because uh, the format is not correct so i'll select this column and then from here you can select uh, percentage now you can see here it is coming correctly uh, we can use this thing in 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 the visualization as well so if you will go here i will create create a new uh, page and on this i can add the table and i will probably add uh, the product name and uh, we can take the customer name and then we can take the person deliver percentage so you can see here if i'll expand this now we can see uh, how it is appearing you can see here here it is coming 200 uh, percent because if i will right click it you can see here it is taking the summarize so just unselect that and select do not summarize now you will be able to see here it is coming on the uh, percentage wise so the same thing also we can do by using a measure so when we use a measure that time we will use uh, the sum function um, and then we can use that so how we can do this is i will say right click on this and i'll say new, new major and here i will give the name as uh, delivered uh, i'll just put the symbol here and what we will do in this case i will take the sum sum of our table which is units deliver our column name so if you'll see here units deliver i'll close the bracket uh, and then I will use the same thing sum of uh, the quantity and you can see here I just click on enter and uh, if you if you want here what we can do here is I will just add the column here you can see here and uh, now also you can see it is coming this way because again the format so I'll select this column and then we will take uh, this format so now you can see here it is coming uh, the same way so we can use the both the things uh, we can use uh, uh, the percentage uh, by using the calculator column or we can use the same major as well now next thing is uh, uh, is coming as uh, the sum that how we uh, we are using 
so in this case uh, if you'll see here how what we are doing here is um, we will try to calculate the total price by using measure here uh, but before that let me just add one more page let's see in a different page and on this I will add the table uh, we will add the table here and in this table I will put uh, the customer name or the product name uh, the customer name and then we will put the quantity now if you'll see here we have the quantity uh, you can see here it is showing the total quantity like this and uh, so in this case if I want to show the uh, uh, total quantity then I can create a measure for this so if you'll see here right click on that uh, click on new measure and I will say the name I will give is total quantity and equal to I will take the sum and then sum of quantity of the sales table and I will click on enter and then we can let's say I'll put a data card here so you can see here here I have a data card I just put it and I will add the value so in this case is the total quantity so you can see here and this is the total quantity that it is showing so this way what we can do is we can use the sum function as um, we can use it now what we will do is we will take uh, or we will try to calculate the total price for example in this case uh, the total price will be quantity and the price so if I'll add uh, in this table if I if I'll add the price here so you can see here now it is coming like this and we want to see the total price in this case so what I'll do here is I will add a, a measure so right click on click on new measure and I will add here total price and on this basically we will try to use the SOMX because uh, the SOMX what it will do is it will calculate row by row but the syntax will be so let me just add SOMX so if you will see here the last one and uh, in this case if you will see here we have to do the um, quantity and uh, the uh, price and I cannot use this thing in the sum for example if I will try to write sum and if I will try to write uh, quantity and uh, quantity into price or quantity and then uh, so if I will you can see here if you took in a separate way it will take but it will you cannot add both the things at one uh, place for example I cannot write like this you can see here it is not allowing me also to do the same thing so what we can do is here we will write the sum x here so the sum x and the sum x will take first of all the table and the expression so the table we are working here is the sales table and the expression what we are doing here is it will be quantity into price so I will say quantity sales quantity into then you can see here price so sales price and I'll close the bracket and I'll click on enter so the moment I will click on enter the major got created the major name is total price this one I will select this now if I will select this you can see here it is the total price is coming here and uh, so this way actually we can calculate this total price using this uh, SOMX function now let's do little modification on that for example um, suppose we want to do uh, or we want to give a discount on this uh, uh, particular uh, on each uh, let's say 5 percent discount discount we are going to grief based on the total price so how we can do this is we can create a measure for the same so in this case I will right click on this new measure and here I will say uh, discount uh, or the total discount and on this basically if you will see here I will say sum x and we will work on the sales table here also the same thing and next thing is the expression it is asking the expression is um, we will give the discount on the total price so we have the total price um, you can see here total price and I will put into and then 0 0.05 and I'll close the bracket 
so I will just click on enter our major got created so I'll select this into this now you can see here we have a uh, this mini discount based on what is the point uh, uh, five percent that discount we will give based on the total price you can see here this will be this uh, individually row wise you can see here and we have the summarized value also so this is how we can use uh, or we can calculate this discount i'll add one more thing in this scenario is that um, let us say you want to filter some of the records for example you don't want to calculate for everything rather you want to calculate only those items which uh, where the quantity is uh, let's say greater than 20 so how we can do this so what we will do in this case is right click and then create a measure obviously we'll create a measure for this and I will say um, total price uh, and I will say quantity greater than 20 make sure you will give a name properly for the uh, for this uh, uh, measure and here we are going to use the sum x but we will use the filter as well so I will use the sum x here and then we will use the filter so instead of directly writing or directing directly doing our sales table what we will do is I will use a filter here so when you will use a filter first thing is it is asking which table we want to use in this case our sales table and then it is asking the filter expression based on what condition you are going to have this filter so in our case it will be quantity so if you see here quantity greater than 20 let's say I'll take it greater than 20 and if you'll see here now this is going to be our filter and once this is evaluated then we will calculate the uh, price so it will be quantity into price quantity into price so sales price you can see here and I'll click on enter so once you click on enter now just check this so that we can add into our table and in this case if you'll see here we uh, it is giving us uh, the calculation where uh, this price is or this quantity is greater than 20 so this way we can work with uh, uh, this way we can work with uh, uh, with the uh, sum x function and also we saw how we can use the filter function We'll see some more examples in, in the other videos.